Hey peeps, coming at you from that uh, special undisclosed location north of Boise, Idaho. I'm here with my bike. Uh, it's getting toward, towards the end of the day. It's starting to cool down a little bit and I have a few hours to burn while my uh, ground meat thaws. And I decided, let's take her for a spin. Let's, uh, I've never rode this bike up here before. I've camped in this spot last year, but I didn't have the bike yet. Now that I have the bike, I wanna find out why there were dozens of vehicles coming past because last year this road up here was closed. I'm, I'm gonna guess that it's no longer closed, but it's too far to walk. I'm gonna go ahead and just get on the bike and ride up there and check it out. And we'll try going the other direction and up to the main road. I'm just gonna keep my fingers crossed that the chain holds up. I'll try not to go too far so if I do have to walk back, I won't be all night. So uh, I gotta get the bike cleaned up and I got to get the cameras mounted on it and get the water and everything and we'll go ahead and hit it. Let me tell you what, these mosquitoes are fierce. One of the things I do, a little hack I did with a road truck is I just, I bought these pieces of hose and this little uh, spigot thing. This actually hooks up to my uh, water drain line and I turn it on, it's under water pressure. So it actually allows me to hose things down. Now I have to be careful because it'll use tons of water very quickly. It's, it's the quickest way for me to clean something off that's, that's dirty. And it does use up valuable water. That's the only thing that, you know, well, what can you do, right? I could sit here with Windex for the next hour. And that's good enough. Oh, that falls off easily. So yeah, it's just this piece of hose. It connects to the line. Now we got her hosed off. I'll just wipe her down real quick and get the cameras mounted. Now I just had this thing sparkly clean last time I rode it, but fact is when you bend off and you're going from dirt road to dirt road, your bike's going to get filthy. And I haven't found any really good way to keep it clean. I mean, I keep it covered. This is just one trip. This is just one trip out into the wilderness and it's already this filthy. And I drove it from Pittsburgh to, let's see, shoot. And I drove it from Pittsburgh to Idaho. Man, this thing was so caked, it took me hours to clean it. It was really bad. This is going to sh just show you how quickly and how good this pump works. It has a Presto valve adapter. So you just open your Presto valve, put the adapter on. I have a slow leak in this front tire. It's, uh, it's caused, it's by the valve. I kind of need to figure out how to fix that without taking the tire back off again. So every time I ride it, I just got to pump it up to uh, 35. So I just hit the button. I just hit the, the middle button, put it up to 35 PSI, just like that. And then we hit the go button. All right, 35 PSI, it doesn't take long at all. Mosquitoes are literally swarming me. I see them like float flying around me. They're trying to find spots where I didn't spray myself. One just landed on my shirt and I watched him try to pierce it. Squished him. Yeah, I hate mosquitoes. I'm just gonna do the back. You don't need to see that. Got the battery here. It's not fully charged, but it's good enough. Hey, time to mount the cameras. Here we are on the bike. As you can see, I got 
my brand new blue phone recording my face. I have the Soku recording the front and I have you guys up in my helmet. So I should be able to do some pretty cool camera angles. So we're not gonna, we're not gonna go too long. It's already kind of late and I'm really hungry. I'm ready to make those burgers but I just wanted to kind of like do this as a test run to make sure this all works. Actually, that looks pretty good. I didn't think the, I didn't know if the, my phone here was gonna capture my face or not, but looks like it is. It's pretty funny with the camera on my head. I just have to make sure that my camera doesn't come loose, that's all. Or my uh, phone. Brand new. I don't want that thing getting screwed up. I still got the OEM chain on this. Well, this feels really nimble today. Oh, it's nice to be moving. Get some cool air. It's a little bit stagnant up here. There's not much wind. Like I said before, I've walked to about this, this far back. I've driven all the way back to the gate. And I'm going to have to guess that that gate is open because there were lots and lots of vehicles this weekend. Way more than I'm used to seeing. I come up to this specific place to be by myself, to be away from people. And it's kind of weird to actually had people walk right through my camp last night. Well, it, was, it wasn't night. It was during the day, but... I've never seen anybody out here on foot before. Yeah, I hear you, buddy. You know, I'm missing the ground squirrels. They're not, I mean, I've been leaving stuff out for them to eat, but I haven't really seen any of them. There were like, there was a whole family last year. And I was looking forward to hanging out with them and feeding them and stuff. I got lots of camera footage, lots of video footage. In fact, here's a little thing you guys all know. The uh, six million dollar cat video that I did with Odin a couple months ago, I used that the squirrel that he chases is footage I used from up here last year. Now, I know that gate's got to be coming up here shortly. Oh, this feels so good to be moving because there's not much wind up here because of all the trees, and it's been kind of hot, and it's like the perfect temperature today to be doing this. These are pretty, pretty decent roads. I just gotta keep an eye on. Them. Okay. So you guys see that? That's an. This is a trail that goes all the way around the lake. I know that for sure. Yeah, I know that for sure that this goes around the lake. Now up here should be the gate. I'm not even sure how I got this super tight before because I can't tighten it down anymore. So I don't know what to do about that gonna keep flopping around every time I hit a bump. Okay, here's the gate. So that's really fucking strange. And there's no vehicle tracks up here. This, there's no one's been up here for a while. Look, the people up here turned around, but no one's went past this gate. And yeah, it's private property. I'm gonna have to guess. See, the thing is, I was seeing cars. I wasn't seeing four by fours and there is no way a car is gonna be able to go down that four by four trail. I mean, I could go down there. I know where it goes. This is where having good brakes is important. <laughs> goes up there somewhere. And this, like I said, goes down to the lake. Oh, it goes, literally goes down to the lake. I didn't know it was this close to the edge. Okay. Oh yeah, I can see camping there. Oh boy. People drive their vehicles up and down this? That's pretty crazy, man.
All right, I never been on this side before. I got a little bridge. Yeah, this is where you can park and then you can tent camp in. Now for me to get back. No service, okay. So we just follow this to keep going left. We'll get up to the main road. Okay. We're going to take the long way back. It's nice not have to worry about my phone falling off. I kind of just ride. We should be coming up here on the main road. Yeah. Now water up here is, I don't, it's kind of deep. I don't think it's so deep it's gonna submerge the motor, but we're gonna find out. There's no other way around unless we go all the way back, so. There's a creek here. Okay, the water's way lower than it was. This was like a huge friggin' thing before. People are actually walking past it now. Ah, uh, no big deal. I was expecting to do some water crossing. You know what? Yeah, let's just go back to the van and I'm gonna empty my pockets. I don't wanna carry all this crap around. I wish I could face camera for you. Ooh. And no, I'm not pedaling. <laughs> this is all throttle. But I'm going through the rough stuff like this. I like to just stand up. Bend my knees, use the throttle, throttle my way through. Okay, let's cut that for now. Odin commands you to like and subscribe and clean my litter box. Hey, thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, be sure to subscribe, share, and like. And we'll see you guys next time. Say hi, Odin.